Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here and welcome to an unboxing video. This unboxing is courtesy of Heather. She's a subscriber of Aquarimax Pets and she collected these at the Fort Museum in Frontier Village. She works there so she gets to work with live critters and plants as well as other things there. I think it's pretty cool. It's also apparently a very good place to collect mosses and liverworts which you know I'm fond of for my vivariums and whatnot so I may actually put these in a dedicated terrarium without any livestock beyond springtails. Or I may put some in my dart frog enclosure. I may do a little bit of both. We'll see how it goes. So, Thank you so much, Heather, for sending these. That was a very nice thing to do. You know, some of my favorite liverworts that I've grown are things like um, Suswasertang and, and Richia or Rikia, whatever you want to call it, um, in aquariums. But I've never really experimented them with them a lot growing immersed. Ooh, look at that. Let's get a close look at that through the bag. And I'm, I'm going to open up the bag in just a second, but I want to get... Ooh, that looks really cool. Okay, let's see what else is in there. There's another bag in there. Got some cool mosses going on. Ooh. Well, let's take this out and take a look at it. Oh, I like that. The uh, leaflets or fronds on that moss are really cool. They've got very wide ones. It almost looks like a liverwort. That's really interesting there. That'll be fun to play with. Set everything down over here. There's a very nice bushy looking one. Nice. Oh, I like this extremely low growing stuff too. Look at that. Oh, there's a little hitchhiker. I will have to process these before I put them somewhere. Generally with mosses, that means giving them a good soak in water. Oh, that one's extremely bushy there too. Nice portions. I like how you portion these out. Um, looks like a few bits kind of broke off too. But that's cool. Oh, this one has been sporing. That's cool. Oh, there's some nice ones too. A lot of selection here, a lot of variety. Oh, that's got some liverwort on it. Right there, let's see if I can get a good focus on that. You can see the thalli, kind of really flat, wide growing um, liverwort there. Very cool. And there's some smaller particles. I think these are bits that fell off of some of the others. A lot of good selection here. And this last one, looks like it's mostly a liverwort. I don't know if I can get the whole thing off in one piece, but I want you to get a good look at this. That would just look fantastic in my dart frog vivarium. Or in a separate terrarium. Look at the little shapes on there. Oh, those are fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to have to get these going as soon as possible. I'm really tempted to put some of my dart frog vivarium once I process them. Maybe I'll just do a terrarium and put some of my dart frog vivarium. Can I get a focus on that? Just look at the shapes of those structures. I can't recall. I'm sure the cup-like structures growing out of the thalli have a name, but I can't remember what it is. But anyway, Heather Jensen sent me these. Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for watching this video. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets, and occasionally on the plants that we keep with them. So please feel free to leave a comment, a like, share it with someone you think might like it, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you won't miss my next video.